So, Vlad, have you been uh, streaming any of the vampire movies that are out there? You know, I have a very, very much problem with the vampire movies. It's very, the Hollywood does not understand our lifestyle. I watch, first of all, I watch the Nosferatu on uh, Netflix. and That's a classic. Classic, but it makes all of us look like a monster, which is not good for our community. Uh, I watch the Twilight. Uh, Twilight, it's so uh, annoying. It's so, I love you, I don't love you, I love him, I don't love him. It's very emo. Uh, not very true to the vampire experience. No, I mean, I, I think you do get pretty emotional, though, Vlad. Okay, you got me there. You got me there. What, what about, uh, what about like, a Bram Stoker's Dracula, just going classic? You like that? D Dracula is very good because I do like that uh, that it, it is a correct portrayal of my type, but uh, I find that... Uh, the vampire is a little too sensual, and it gives me uh, performance anxiety. Um, oh, yeah. Hard to live up to Dracula. He's got that libido of his is just through the roof, you know? know? How can anyone expect you to constantly be seducing women like that? Very, very much. I, I also watched the interview with the vampire, and I find it... Uh, that it had some very good acting, but it's a little flamboyant for my taste. Oh, okay. Well, I, I so really, if you were to make a, a vampire movie about your life, what would that be like? I think it would be uh, very close to Rocky. Oh, okay. <laughs> so instead of like running up the stairs and training, it would just be you... Uh, Slaughtering a bunch of people? Yes, it's a very uh, heartwarming film about overcoming obstacles. Uh, those obstacles <laughs> being... Human flesh. Human flesh, yeah. I, I think a lot of people would go and see that, especially if you were able to brand it as a Rocky. I wonder if I could get the rights to that. You think you work in Hollywood? You think I could, uh, you know, sell a screenplay to maybe you I or your think friends? that... You know, Sylvester Stallone, if he hears a good idea, he'll mumble his way to, a, you know, a, a hit. And it seems like you are definitely, you have the same sort of uh, vocal uh, affect that he has. I can try. I, I wonder if I can visit can him. You, can you uh, give me like a yo, Adrian? Yo, I, yo Adrian. Yo, yo, Adrian. Adrian. Hey. Yo, Adrian. Yo. I ate you. Hey, yo, Adrian. I ate you. That's pretty good. Pretty good. That's pretty good. Maybe I could play it in, like he played the role in the first Rocky. I could play the role in my screenplay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I think, does the vampire have a, a, a nemesis or is it just going to be you eating people? It's mostly. Eating people, sucking blood from people, uh, sometimes doing some maintenance on the coffin, uh, but mostly eating people and sucking the blood. I'm not sensing a huge arc, but like, I think there's something there. Something there. I'll try it. I'll workshop it. I'll send a brainstorm. I'll send yeah. you an outline. You tell me what you think. Send, contact my assistant and we'll start something up. Okay. The Gentleman's Golf Law Podcast is a general men's interest comedy show for the rebel and the renaissance man. If you liked this clip, be sure to check out our full-length audio and video episodes over at GentlemanScofflaw.com. You can also find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcatcher.